Robert Verzicha. You just lost your first final as a coach. Tell us about the feeling. Yeah, it's not not fun. I mean, obviously, you know, it's, uh, I was uh, I was looking for different different ending, but uh, some of the games are going to lose, some of the games are going to win. Obviously, uh, it would be nice to win important games. Which, uh, uh, we did a good job getting the final. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, you know semi final. We, we beat DC at, at, at their place, uh, but. Uh, the game was uh, going the way we um, we anticipated. You know, uh, I think we were organized. Uh, we scored first goal, uh, and then uh, fortunately for them, they scored in the end of the first half. Maybe the first half would uh, end up with 1-0. Uh, uh, we probably maybe hold on to the lead, but you never know. Uh, I don't think the second goal was necessary. I was the, that was a, a bad cross, I think, and then uh, I think be because of that, we lost the focus a little bit. And then, uh, you know, Zakwani you know, had it and hit the crossbar, and then we uh, we didn't defend the second ball. From the coaching standpoint, would you do something uh, different if you have another chance? No, I don't think so. I think tactics was okay. I mean, I think the, the players they felt comfortable with the, with the, with the way we play. Uh, you know, we maybe if we would have scored a first goal, like Gavi would have scored a, when they had a first chance. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that would be a little bit different. Um, but uh, uh, at the end of the game, the last probably eight, ten minutes, uh, we wasn't be able to put the ball in a in a box. Uh, I think we were trying to be perfect. We probably took one more, uh, one pass too many, uh, uh, because we want to try to put the the, the, the guy that would, would, would cross the ball with uh, with, the, with the perfect uh, perfect cross. So uh, sometimes you just have to uh, play the ball in the box and see what happens. You have a clearly uh, problem winning with your former boss, uh, Ziggy. You know, it was your fifth game, I believe, and um, it was two, two draws, and you lost the final today. Did, the fact that uh, you guys know each other very well and those teams very familiar uh, uh, works better for Ziggy, or? Well, it seems like. Uh, <laughs> you see, the, the, the record probably looks like you know, so. So uh, I mean, is, uh, hopefully we can we can see him in the playoffs, and then uh, uh, the balance is going to be a little bit different. So, uh, but uh, seems like everything looks uh, works for him right now. So, so uh, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> the Seattle crowd is already, you know, one of the best in the league, if not the best. And how hard is to come here and play in front of the 35, 36,000 people? Well, it's hard, you know. As he always said, you know, the, the, the crowds and the support give you an, an, another extra player on the field. So, so uh, I think that's what happened today. They were they were loud and they were behind our team, um, and then uh, well, they get awarded in the end. What it takes now for Robert Vajica to take this cup final? Well, we have to rebound from, from this game. I mean, uh, we can basically, you know, that was the last game of the. Uh, of the Open Cup, so we can we can focus on on the league right now and on the MLS, and we can focus on the playoffs. Um, we have still one game in the Champions League, which we're going to play in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but uh, but more than anything, you know, we have to we have to concentrate on the league and on the playoffs. Okay, thank you very much.